Hello ladies and sirs, welcome back to a new video. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but we have another working contraptions video. Over the years I've made many different working contraptions throughout my creative world, which I'm wanting to share with you, lovely ladies and sirs, for you to take inspiration from or just build yourself. In today's working contraption video, we are covering a decontamination room. Overall, it's something pretty simple, but I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I thought I'd show off this new addition to a little project that I'm working on. You guys should hopefully find out what that is in the coming months. This particular device is meant to be used between two different areas where you don't want cross-contamination of different effects that you give different players. It can also just be a fun gimmick to separate certain parts of your build. In this example, laboratory. Let's say that we've just been doing a bunch of different testing, we have all these different effects on us, which we can just come and run on in, the doors open, it all activate, all the effects will be removed from us, then we walk out. We are all clean and ready to move on to any other part of the facility we need to go to. Let's quickly just go through that again. So you walk up to the door, opens, walk on in, cleaning commences, walk over to the door and it will automatically stop, and the door goes behind you. Neat. Like I said, a pretty simple contraption, but something you guys might want to replicate. Alright, let's show you guys how this thing works. Oh wait, I forgot! <laughs> okay, so all of this is all the redstone required to have this to work. Overall, it's not that much. A lot of it's very location sensitive, so for that particular reason, because we're so close to the um, level up here, I've removed this bit of redstone so we're not constantly bombarded with particles. Alright, well let's begin. This whole mechanism is split into two separate sides, which are basically identical, except for their locations. So we'll just be focusing on one. The very first command block is this repeating command block right here, which controls the door. We have an execute command, which is tiny, if an entity is at these coordinates, um, at least within a distance of four. It will then activate this. It will activate the comparator, sending it into this block here, giving a redstone output to here and here. Both of these, either side of this redstone input, one is in charge opening the door, the other one is in charge of closing. Since we're not within range of the actual door right now, it's currently in the closed position. The side here is in charge of opening the door, so this area has got a fill command for this location here, filling it all with air. The next command block right beside it is a play piston contract sound as it's opening the door. That wide output then goes to the next block, which is this one here. Another fill command, doing between these locations here. Once again, air, and another piston contract. And you kind of get the idea. The next one is also a fill command, but doing those plots there. And another play sound command. We then come across the other side, which is slightly different. As due to closing it, I can't just do fill the whole area in one command block because obviously it's coming from two separate sides and yeah, so it has to be broken up. So the first one here after the inverted torch, this command block here, doing fill between these two locations of iron block. The command block here is also the play sound command, but this one is doing a play piston extend because it's closing the door. All three of these are exactly identical, once again, so I won't go over those. The command block on the other side of this. We've got another fill command for this location here. Once again, iron block, completing the first bit of the animation. The power moves along to this command block here. Another fill command for this location. This one for this location. And then the power moves along to the next one, which only needs one command block due to actually fully closing the door this time. Filling in iron for here. And there you have it, that's the whole kind of door mechanism of actually opening and closing the door. This is all the same over here, but just adjust the coordinates for the other side of the doorway. We have a repeating command block, detecting for if an entity is within the actual chamber. If it does detect a player is within the radius specified, it will send a power output. These two pistons extend when a requirement of these command blocks over here are met, which allows the power to pass through. The first command block here we have a repeating command block, which is the exact same command as what we had at the very beginning. Executing if an entity is within the radius of four of the door. But I do have to note, this command block is actually the one for the one over there, and that one over there is the one for the door here. It has to be the opposite to the door it's under. But when it does detect, it'll send a redstone output to here, to this command block here, which will basically fill this block here with air. While it's detecting it and has done that, it will then cause this redstone torch to invert, turning this bit off, which will then have the piston retracted, unable, unable to activate the particles and clearing up effects. The command block here is a fill command for the same block of copper we got rid of before, but placing it back again, which will turn back on when the player enters the chamber or leaves the room, it will set it back. So that's the same for both sides, though if the player has actually left the chamber entirely, there will be no redstone input from here, so both of these being extended won't even matter. But once it's all set up and both pistons extending, we then need it to activate. 
normally this would have a redstone dust here, but it will do that and we don't want to be working with that right now. So I'll just get rid of that. Just remember to put it there. Next we have all these repeating command blocks, which are all basically the same. Um, we have all these... They're all dash particle doing cloud in the set of coordinates. All this stuff here. They're all doing dash particle in these locations here. So they're all basically the same. The only thing separating some of them is the ones that go on the ground normally have a thing with the four here in the middle of this section. And the ones that go on the wall are the ones with a two on the end in this section. This just changes the shape of the column of where the particles kind of emit from. It makes it look a lot more obvious that it's coming out of the ground or coming out of the wall. But if you really wanted to, you could just set it all to be a single number and it'll just be a big cloud of stuff. But that's personally your preference, I guess. So all eight of those are the particle ones. We've got these two here on the end, which are play sound, block, lava, extinguish. So all the bits for that. We also have another one here, just two of them. The only difference one, one is actually at a normal pitch here. It's orange one, that's the number one pitch, is normal. Then the other one, it's been pitched down. So we've just got a zero. The final command block in all of this is this last little one here, which is doing execute if an entity is within these coordinates, which is the very center of the chamber, and within a distance of seven, and then it runs the effect of clearing, which does it within a radius of nine. And that wraps all of it up. So as long as you've done this correctly on either side and mirrored it, just making sure you get all your coordinates correctly, you should have a working decontamination room. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, ladies and sirs. I know it's been a long time since I've made a working contraptions video, and it isn't the most amazing contraption in the world, but I hope you at least found it interesting. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did, and until the next time, ladies and sirs, ta-ra.